explain derivatives. All right, so a derivative is used to find the slope of a line that is tangent to a curve. And I know that sounds a little confusing, so I'm going to break it apart for you. So, first off, we've got our graph. Now, we've got our curve, which is a quadratic. Now, a curve is really any um, line with an exponent in the equation. So, like, the quadratic here works, or maybe you could have, like, x cubed. That would also work. So that's what the curve is. Now, the tangent line is the line that intersects the curve at exactly one point. We'll say this point here. So it would be like this. See, it intersects it at exactly one point. Not two, not three, not zero, one. So that is what the tangent line is. A line that intersects a curve, quadratic, at one point. Now, the derivative is used to find this. It's some equation, um, and we pick an x-coordinate, like for example this one, on the quadratic, plug it in to the derivative, solve for it, and it will give us the slope of this line. And since there's only one line that passes through, that will be one slope. So that's what the derivative does. Now, there is an equation to figure out what the derivative is, so you can figure out tangent lines. Not a solving for these. So, what that equation is, is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now, before I continue on, I should point out that f of x is the same as y. They're interchangeable. The only difference being that the x here, whatever you have in the parentheses, is what you plug in f for the x for the rest of the equation. So, like, we have f of x equals x squared. We, since that x is there, we plug in the x for the x. So, basically, the same. Let's say we have, like, f of 3, we'd plug in a 3 for the x squared. So, that would be 3 squared, or 9. So, that's the only difference with f of x and y. Otherwise, they're exactly the same. But, back to this equation at hand, you may be wondering, well, how did I get that? How do we figure out what that is? That's a great question, and I'm going to explain it to you right now. Alright, before I explain how I got f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, I need to explain this. We're going to pick two points, x1, y1, for that one, and then for this one we'll label it x2, y2. And we're doing it that because we don't have any actual numbers to put in for the x and y coordinates. Now, slope is rise over run. That is what slope is. Now, rise, the amount something goes up on the y-axis, over run, the amount something goes across on the x-axis. Now, to figure out the slope of this, we need to figure out how much taller this one is than that one, or how much farther up the y-axis it is, and how farther across it is, like how much farther along the x-axis it went. So we take that as y2 minus y1, because that's how much taller it is, and then x2 minus x1, that's how much farther across it is. And that is how we figure out the slope between two points. y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Alright, now I'm going to explain how I got that equation. And to do that, I've got a graph and a curve. Alright, now I'm going to pick some random point on the curve, this one, and it'll be x and f of x. And remember, f of x is the same as y. Alright, so it is f of x above the x-axis, and x away from the y-axis. So that's why we have f and f, or x comma f of x. Alright, we're going to pick another point, uh, and this will be h across the x-axis from this one. So it'll be x plus h, and f of x plus h. Alright, so this distance here is h, that's how much far these are apart. Alright, so it's x, because you know we have this, plus h, because it's x plus h away from the y-axis. And the distance from the x-axis would be f of x plus h. Alright, now, 
to figure out the slope between these two points, which is how you figure out the derivative, you figure out the slope between these two points, we'll take f of x plus h, you know, y2, minus f of x, y1, all over x plus h, x2, minus x, or x1. And these cancel out, because, you know, these are h apart, so we probably could have just wrote, wrote an h under this, probably might have been simpler, but that's how we get it. We have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And that should seem familiar. Alright, so now you, hopefully, at least, understand how we got the equation. Now, I'm going to put it into practice and show you how we use it. So for this, we're going to need a curve, and we'll do f of x equals x squared, you know, keep it simple, and then we'll plug it in. So, since the x plus h was, you know, it's x plus h, we have to plug that in for the x. So we have x plus h squared, minus f of x, or x squared, all over h. Yeah, there we go. Now, for squaring this, that would be the same as x plus h times x plus h. And what we do here is we distribute. So we have this times this, and this times this. So we have that. And this would be the same as x squared, or x times x, plus hx plus hx plus h squared, or h times h. And the h's, x's, hx's can combine to give us x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. There we go. Now we'll plug it back in, so we have x squared plus 2hx plus h squared minus x squared all over h. There we go. And we'll cancel the x squared, because that's what we do. Because it, it can be cancelled, we simplify. And then we have 2hx plus h squared all over h. Now, at this point, all of your the numbers, or variables, or whatever, should have an h in them. You should have no number or variable without an h in it. So now we can just cancel the h's. That will give us 2x plus h. There we go. That's our derivative. Now, we want the h to be 0. And the reason is because we want the distance between those two points to be 0. We want them to be combined. We want to figure out um, the slope of the line when those two points are at the same point. Because, remember, the distance between them was h, so if h is 0, it means they're 0 apart, or the same point. So we plug in 0 for h, and we get 2x. Now, the reason we couldn't do this earlier is because if we plug in 0 for h, we have something over 0. And anything over 0 is undefined. We can't solve for it. So, the derivative for x squared is 2x. Alright, so now what I've done for you is I've graphed the curve, x squared, and the derivative, 2x. Notice how the derivative is not tangent. It intersects it here, and while you can't see it, it will intersect there, somewhere up there. So, obviously, the derivative isn't the tangent line, but we can use it to figure out what the tangent line is. Say we want to figure out what the tangent line is at x coordinate 1. We plug in 1 for x, so, you know, it's 2. So the slope would be 2. Which should basically look like that. You know, roughly a slope of 2. Now, it gives you the slope. It doesn't give you the x-intercept, so you don't have a full equation. But you can figure out the x-intercept pretty easily. The difficult thing is the slope. So, I just want to show you that the derivative is not the tangent line. But it can be used to figure out the tangent line. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, and see ya!